Groovy boards are pattern boards that you use with a stylus to precisely duplicate the quilting motif onto your quilt. These are samples of groovy boards, cherries and apples. This is a border. Other groovy boards create an edge-to-edge -edge design such as these swirls. Clam shells. This is a very traditional design. And spirals and circles. The stylus follows the motif into the center and then stitches out again. A groovy board stylus is attached to the back of the machine and used to follow the grooves of the HQ groovy boards. Before using the groovy boards, attach the groovy board adapter to the machine's rear base plate. You will leave the adapter on the machine so you only have to do this once. Unplug your machine, lay the machine on its left side. It always helps to have a friend help. Place the adapter plate over the two square holes with the rectangular hole over the wheel. Place the two carriage bolts down through the adapter. The square holes are for locating and holding the carriage bolt head during tightening. Tighten the nuts with a 7 16 wrench until the bracket is firm and does not move. There will be two bolts that you'll attach. Tighten so that the adapter doesn't move. Then lift the machine upright and place back on the carriage. Plug in the cable and the power cord. Now you can attach the groovy board stylus holder and stylus. The stylus holder has two threaded holes. Place the stylus holder under the adapter plate and align the two holes with the long slot in the adapter plate. Place a wing bolt with a washer through the slot and then thread into the stylus holder. Repeat with the other wing bolt and washer. The stylus holder can move from front to back along the adapter. Mount the stylus into the stylus holder and secure it with the thumb screw which faces the front of the machine. It can adjust up and down. Tighten the thumb screw, and now you're ready to quilt.
When choosing groovy boards, if you choose a continuous edge-to-edge -edge groovy board, you'll need at least two so that as it goes through one board, it will go into the next and continue repeating the pattern. Each board comes with two circle rings to connect the boards. Notice how they're connected? This keeps the boards tight together so that the design can go through and be continuous. Tape down the groovy boards. Use a painter's tape. Tape one against the track of the machine and then up against the top of the board. Adjust your stylus so that you can stitch the whole pass from top to bottom. Adjust the height of the stylus so that it gives a good spring as it drops down into the board. Now adjust your fabric so that you're at the start of your fabric. Lift your stylus, move it over, bring up your bobbin thread, tie off, and then start stitching. There's some play in the groove. Make sure that you hug one side of the groove or the other so that you get a very smooth flow. This video has shown how easy it is to achieve consistent, precise quilting results by using groovy boards.